hii ya basi na hii ya basi ni wakalisheni mimi yote katika hii sherehe kubwa ya madaraka nikanea ambapo tumekuja kwa wingi tunasema asante mwashaa maskofu mkuu kwa kubali wito wa kuja kuapa hii sakramenti ya kimema basi nishukue nafasi hii fudi ni mkaribishe msimamizi mdogo wa Father Emmanuel ambaye ni mkuu wetu wa kimema basi mkuu msaidizi ni kukaribishe Father Ignatius ni paroko wa Trinity kana wetu padre Emmanuel ndugu mapadre watao wa kike na wa kiume mashemashi wetu viongozi wa dekania hii makadidata wetu ambao wanapokea sakramenti ya kipaimara na wakristu wote kwa jumla tumsifu Yesu Kristo Leo tumeungana kama dekania makadara kusherekea imani yetu kwa kuadhimisha sakramenti ya kipaimara kupitia kauli mbiu baba wote wawe na umoja Yohane sura ya 17 aya 21 Baba askofu mkuu Leo ni siku ya kipekee kwa mara ya kwanza kuwa nasi katika dekania hii. Ni vema kwa uvinyu kuijua kwamba dekania hii iko mashariki mwa wa jiji la Nairobi. Tuna jumla ya Wakristo wa Katoliki 1030. Wengi wa Wakristo hawa ufanya biashara dogo dogo uko industrial area na hivyo wengi ufanya kazi hadi Jumamosi saa saba. dekania hii hii katika uh, jimbo letu ndio ina informal settlement nyingi sana uh, katika jimbo letu Nairobi kama vile majengo madhare mukuru na kiabiu dekania hii ya makadara iko katika ulinzi wa mtakatifu Teresa wa Afila Tunazo parokia nane ambazo ni mtakatifu Maria Magdalena liko katika usimamizi wa mapadre wa Jimbo. Mtakatifu Yusufu na Maria Shauli Moyo ambao wasimamiwa na wamishonari wa bili hii. Mtakatifu Yusufu mahali tulipo sasa Jeriko ambao wasimamiwa na wamishonari wa SNP Society of Missionaries of Africa mtakatifu Maria Mukuru ambao alipo katika ulinzi wa missionary wa Spiritans parokia ya utatu mtakatifu Buruburu 1 ambalo liko na usimamizi wa mapadre wa Jimbo mtakatifu Teresa wa Afila Isili nasimamiwa na mapadre wa Jimbo parokia ya sakramenti takatifu Buruburu mapadre wa Jimbo na parokia ya OLV Makadara vile vile katika ulinzi wa mapadre wa Jimbo Katika dekania hii ya Makadara tuna mapadre wa kimishonari ambao naomba kuwataja Kuna mapadre wa mtakatifu Teresa wa Kalkata ama ukipenda Father of Charity wako sehemu ya Pangani kuna mapadre wa msalaba mtakatifu ukipenda Opus Dei anasimamia uh, Islands College kuna wakapuchini ambao wako pale starehe 
ni vema kutambua kwamba ni parokia moja tu ambapo hamna watawa parokia ya Shauli Moyo parokia zingine zote ziko na watawa bali ya changamoto zetu katika dekania hii ni pamoja na congestion katika parokia zetu nafasi yetu ni vinyu sana para katika parokia zetu vijana wengi bila ajila utumiaji wa madawa ya kulevia wa Kristu wengi kutopatikana siku zingine isipokuwa jioni na Jumapili wahitaji ni wengi na uwepo wa madhehebu mengi na wingi wa Waislamu hakuna dekania katika jimbo hili ambalo lina Waislamu wengi kama sisi baba askofu mkuu kukutana kama dekania imekuwa changamoto kubwa kwetu lakini mapadri kwa uongozi wa dekano wetu na viongozi twajitahidi kudumisha umoja wa kuadaa sherehe kama hizi kila mwaka kama njia moja wapo ya kuunganisha wakristu katika dekania na kukuza imani ugonjwa wa covid 19 ulitupiga sana lakini twajitahidi kuinuka tena na vikundi vyote na majumuiya tumerejelea katika mikutano yetu. Leo baba askofu twasherekea sakramenti ya kipaimani. Makaditati hawa ambao ni 426 wametoka katika parokia zetu zote. Tunayo furaha kukaribisha hapa ukijua ya kwamba uliweza kutambua uwajibikaji wetu na uwezo wetu siku ya family day ya jimbo kuu letu tulipopewa nafasi ya kuiuisha sasa kwa jia ya pekee naomba sote tusimame kwa makofi tumkaribishe mchungaji wetu atuongoze kwa ibada takatifu ya misa na sherehe za leo tupige makofi kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu amani iwe nanyi basi wapendwa watakatifu wa Mungu tuombe msamaha wa dhambi zetu na hivyo basi tukiweke tayari kumtolea Mungu sadaka hii takatifu sadaka ya wema wetu sadaka ya matoleo yetu sadaka ya Mungu mwenyewe kuwa pamoja na sisi tunavyojitolea kwake. Na kuangamia Mungu mwenyezi Maria mwenyeheni bikira daima Malaika na watakatifu wote na ndugu zangu niombeeni kwa kwa Mungu. Na Mungu Mwenyezi atuhurumia atuzamee dhambi zetu na kutufikisha kwenye uzima wa milele.
Tuombe E Bwana tunakuomba uwe radhi kutuiminia roho wako mtakatifu ili sisi sote tunaotembea katika umoja wa imani na tukuimarishwa kwa nguvu za mapendo yake tufike kwenye cheo cha kimo cha utimilivu wa roho na Kristo anaishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele
somo katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitume siku ya pentekoste ilipoadia wote walikuwapo mahali pamoja mara uvumi ulitoka mbinguni kama upepo mkali ukaijaza nyumba yote walimoka na ndimi kama za moto zikawatokea zikawagawanyika na kutua kwa kila mmoja wao wote wakajazwa roho mtakatifu na wakaanza kusema lugha nyingine kama roho mtakatifu alivyowajalia kunena huko Yerusalemu walikaa wayahudi watu wa cha Mungu watu wa cha Mungu wa kila taifa lililoko chini ya mbingu basi uvumi huu ulipotukia wengi walikutana wakashikwa na mshangao kwa sababu kila mmoja wao aliwasikia wanasema lugha yake mwenyewe wote walishtuka na kwa mshangao waliuliza hao wote wanaosema si wa Galilaya kwa namna gani kila mmoja wetu anaisikia lugha iliyozaliwa nayo sisi wapathi wa media wa elami, nasi tukao Mesopotamia Yudea na Kapadokia Ponto na Asia Frigia na Pamphylia Misri na wilaya za Libya kuelekea Kirene pia wageni waliotoka Roma Wayahudi na waongofu Wakrete na Waarabu sote tunawasikia wakisema kwa lugha zetu matendo makuu ya Mungu neno la Bwana Zaburi ya kuitikizana Sikia ewe mpindi utazame na utenge sikio lako Sikia ewe mpindi utazame na utenge sikio lako
mtakatifu Paulo kwa wageni. Ndugu, twajua ya kuwa viumbe vyote vinapiga kite na kushikwa na uchungu mpaka sasa. Lakini sio vile tu. Ila hata sisi wenyewe tulio na malipuko ya rombo. Ndio sisi pia tunapiga kite mioyoni mwetu kufanywa wana wa Mungu kwa kukombolewa mili yetu. Ni matumaini yanayotusalimisha. Lakini matumaini tunayoyaona yametekelezwa. Sio tena matumaini. Inawezekanaje kutumainia kitu tunachokiona kimekishwa kuepo? Lakini tukitumainia mambo tusiyoyaona tunayangojea kwa subira. Lakini Roho anasaidia udhaifu wetu. Hatujui jinsi inavyotubidi kuomba. Roho mwenyewe anatuombea sisi kwa maombi yasiyosemeka. Lakini Mungu achukuzae mioyo, ajua nia ya Roho anayewaombea watakatifu kwa Mungu. Neno la Bwana. Shangilio la Yesu. wakati ule Yesu alimwambia wafuasi wake Mimi ndimi mzabibu wa kweli na baba yangu ni mkulima Kila tawi ndani yangu ni siloza matunda Baba uliondoa na kila tawi lizaangu matunda ulisafisha Lipate kuzaa matunda mengi zaidi. Ninyi mmekwisha kuwa safi kwa nguvu ya neno nililowaambia. Dumuni ndani yangu nami ndani yenu. Kama tawi lisivyoweza kuza matunda kwa nguvu yake lenyewe, lisipodumu katika zabibu kadalika ninyi hamwezi msipodumu ndani yangu mimi ni mzabibu nani ni matawi adumuwe adumuye ndani yangu nami ndani yake huyu huza matunda mengi kwa mahana pasipo mimi hamwezi kufanya lolote asiyedumu daima ndani yangu anatupwa nje kama tawi akanyuuka watu watayaukota matawi hayo waka yatupa katika moto yakateketea mkidumu ndani yangu na maneno yangu ya kidumu ndani yenu ombeni ndoroze mtakalo 
na mtapewa katika hilo baba yangu huzunguzwa kwamba mzae matunda mengi na kuwa wafuasi wangu Njene ya Bwana Uyo kwa jina la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu. Amani iwe nanyi. Na la kwanza kabisa naomba msamaha kwa kuja nimechelewa. Mmenizamea? Hilo ni tunda la roho mtakatifu. Asante. Na pili na washukuru kwamba mlivumilia mpaka wa leo na hata tulivyochelewa kidogo mlingojea mpaka tumekuja tu pamoja asanteni la tatu ni kushukuru na kusema pia asante kwa baba wa dekania hii Emmanuel na mapadri ambao wana madaraka chini yake katika hii dikania ya makadara. Asante kwa mwaliko, ninashukuru nimekaribia. Asante sana. La nne ni kusema asanteni kwa makaribisho. Nilifika akina mama CWA na akina baba CMA muri nikaribisha kwa njia ya sta ustaarabu asanteni <laughs> na sana kwa sababu nimei
kila mmoja wenu amechukulika na kujipatia nafasi ya kuweza kuja hapa ili tusali kama familia moja ya, ya dekania hii ya makadara kila mmoja na, na washukuru na kushukuru asante sana na kuninatoa salamu nyingi kutoka pande zote salamu ndizo alipewa ni walete ni salamu sama wote mapadri na wengine wanaoshughulikia mambo ya kichungaji katika jimbo kuu hili tulio tu ambao nakutana zaidi huko um, katika nyumba ya mapadri huko eh, kasarani ama ruaraka wanasema ni wasalimie wote na pia wa wengine wote wa Kristo na mapadri na wengine wote wa dekania nilikotoka jumapili nyingine iliyokwisha wa huko Kikuyu walisema ni wasalimie nikija huko tumekuwa na mkutano wa maaskofu wa Katoliki wa Kenya huko Mombasa na tulikuwa nilikuwa tukimaliza jana ili ya kwamba nirudi hapa tuweze kuwa pamoja nanyi ili waarifu ninakuja huko kunaitwa Jericho unaitwa wapi lakini niwaambia naenda Makadara wengi wanajua Makadara wengine wanajua Jericho akiwa yuko na wazee yeye kwa nikule walikuwa naimba nyimbo za zamani. Hiyo nyimbo gani hizo aliimba? Eh? Hasa wakasema, "Eh, hey, uende uwasalimie." Even they are still together uwasalimie. Kwa <laughs> salamu hizo zinatoa kwa maaskofu wote wa Katoliki katika ye ye Kenya nzima ambao tumekuwa tukutana nao hadi jana hatimaye tukajiombea hata sisi maaskofu wengine 28 ambao walifanya walitoa huduma katika Kenya hii na sasa Mungu akawaita kwake wako pamoja na Mungu maaskofu 28 na 8 wakati yao mabaina yao ni askofu maaskofu nani na nani wa hapa Nairobi askofu ndiki mwana Zeki askofu Michael Otunga askofu okay John Yenga askofu ha ni kodela krema pale wa Nairobi okay asante na askofu makadi kuna wengine wengi wengine hatuwajui lakini tunaomba wakati tunakutana mwezi kuna moja huu tunakutana tunaomba kwa sababu eh, mwezi wa the souls that are living with god are waiting to be declared saints sawa sawa kwa hiyo basi hao pia tulishiriki na wao tukaombea kwa hiyo basi jengo sisi tuna bahati kila mmoja kutoka pande zote ambako tuko ametulenga na sala zake leo tunasema ni siku kubwa ambayo Mungu ama ambayo tukulabia kulengwa na sala nyingi Mungu anatubariki kwa kumpeleka Roho Mtakatifu aje kwa namna ya pekee awavuvia hawa ambao ni watoto wetu wapewa sakramenti ya kipaimara wawe askari wake Yesu Kristu wawe imara katika imani wawe imara katika imani na tunavyofanya hivyo sio hao tu lakini hata sisi wote ambao tumekuja tuna imarishwa tena upya katika imani yetu ya Kikristo hata mimi 
kwa kila mmoja ninayempariki kwa sakramenti ya kibali mara kwa jina la Yesu Kristu hata mimi pia naimarishwa katika imani hiyo na imani hiyo basi ndiye inayotuunganisha wote tuwe pamoja kama askari wake Yesu Kristu tukiwa na askari ni askari wake Yesu Kristu hapa ulimwenguni tunaitwa the church that is pilgrim the church that is it is on a pilgrim nasikia tunaenda hija huko huko subukia tunaenda hija huko roots tunaenda hija huko wapi Uganda na kadhalika the church is pilgrim moves from place to place in its sacred places na hivyo pia ambaye ni pilgrim the church also moves from outside back to our hearts back to our hearts tunaweza kukuka kila mahali tuende kila mahali lakini tunakuwa na safari nyingine mrefu inayotufanya tuje hapa siku ya leo safari inayotoka kwa mawazo yetu alafu baki ifike katika moyo wetu ifike moyo wetu kama wafuasi wake Yesu Kristu tuliosikia katika somo la kwanza safari zao zilikuwa ni ndefu kabisa pata Kristo kufa hajafuvuka na hajakudua mafuka they went back to where they were in the beginning walienda mawazo yalitawanyika na kila kitu lakini Yesu Kristo alivyokuja akawaambia nitawapelekea roho mtakatifu ili naye aje wafundishe ndicho walizo wafundisha na wafanye tena muwe na umoja aliyopelekea roho mtakatifu hiyo roho alikuja akawafia kila mmoja wao na akaweza tena kuamsha upya yote ambaye Kristo aliyewafumbua na aliyofundisha katika roho zao wagundua eh kumbe sisi tuamo tuamoja tu moja akasema hakuna naye weza kumkusali na kusali kwa namna ya kipekee ijapokuwa ni kwa uwezo wa roho mtakatifu kwa pia ni kwa uwezo wa roho mtakatifu akasema huyo roho mtakatifu katika somo hilo la kwanza atakuwezesha kusali na hatimaye hata kama uwezi kuongea roho yako katika mwili wako utakuwa tu ni kama kunaoneza anayekufa pengine hana la kusema anatoa tu babbling sounds unanongoneza hata kama unanungunika hiyo roho ataomba ndani yako akuwezeshe kumuita Mungu baba kumuita Mungu nani baba kumuimba Mungu aba kumuita Mungu aba Mungu tulikuwa tumekata uhusiano wake kwa sababu ya dhambi ya kwanza hatukuwa tena kama watoto wake kwa hivyo roho mtakatifu tena anatuunganisha na baba kulingana na mafundisho yake Kristo na hivyo tuunganisha hivyo anatufananisha pia na Yesu Kristu tena. Na akatuambia nyinyi sasa ni hekalu la Roho Mtakatifu. Na nyinyi kama ni hekalu la Roho Mtakatifu, sura na maumbile yenu ni ya kimungu. Mwanzo maumbile yenu ni ya kimungu, ya kimungu. So a Christian is a person who looks like God. A Christian is a person who looks like God tunasikia mkristo tangu zamani ndio mambo tume yanaanza kuharibika tangu zamani tangu kristo awepo mkristo the one who looks like god anything that was going to happen on him ilikuwa regulated ilikuwa regulated ukipiga mtu umefanya dhambi umefanya nini dhambi usipomsaidia mtu anayemtetezeka umefanya dhambi kwa sababu he has been created in God's own image and integrity. Na ukipiga mtu ambaye pengine anafanya kazi ya Mungu kama padri umefanya dhambi gani? Dhambi gani? Dhambi ya watoto wangu mnaofuti funza katikizo umefanya dhambi gani? Dhambi ya Dhambi ya asili. Eh? Dhambi ya dhambi ya mauti na ukimuua mtu dhambi ya mauti ilikuwa ukimpiga mtu kama padri 
umesema fanya dhambi inaitwa dhambi ya kufuru dhambi ya nini kufuru you are the, you are we are spoiling you are hitting you are spoiling things that have been consecrated for the greater glory of god na sio tu baadhi kwa sababu sisi wote tulio batizwa tuna upande ndani yetu kwa hivyo roho mtakatifu alituwezesha kujua ya kwamba sisi tunaweza kujiheshimu tunaweza kujiheshimu we should honor ourselves and we should learn like children like parents like christians sense of honor sense of honor sense of honor if you honor, don't honor yourself you cannot respect your dignity and the dignity of others even if you come to the temple you come and the police are tena arufu nini mpya hewa mpya ikawa ni kwamba hiyo hewa mpya ndani ya uzima inawafanya wawe na uhai mpya kwanza kujitambulisha mwenyewe na kujiheshimu na kujiheshimu alafu you see the integrity even the work that god gave you and you sema wewe nimekuumba wewe mwanadamu i have given you the maximum integrity and i want you to continue doing the same together with me pamoja na na mimi <coughs> so you will be my co-creator <coughs> you will create the world you will name the trees you will name the birds tunashiriki kwa kazi ya Mungu tuliharibu hiyo roho mtakatifu alitumwa alipelewa kwetu ili atupete na nguvu hizo kwa hiyo basi ninyi mnaopewa sakramenti ya kipaimara you are very important people before god you are very important people before god God says you are good. God says you are good. Sacrament of confirmation is sacrament of goodness. A sacrament ya wema, sacrament ya uzuri. And that goodness is the tool for you ni chombo chako cha kukupeleka katika vida, vita. So that you will overcome evil by being good or come evil by doing good that is the first reading sisi wote tumeumbwa tena na roho mtakatifu tu hiyo roho mtakatifu hiyo kuja alikuwa tu akiongea kwa dini mbalimbali hakuna naye waeleweka na mwingine lakini when the roho spirit alikuja akaovia wakatoka walikuwa wameogopa lakini walivyotoka nje wakaanza kusema siki hawa wanaongea mambo yote ambayo tunayaelewa kwa lugha yao ndio lakini tunayaelewa ilikuwa ni lugha ya roho mtakatifu and the language of the holy spirit is the language of love the language of love the language of love and the language of goodness katika kanisa tunaposherekea tunaona hapa tumeandika our events is to do goodness and to emphasize them with our prayer in the rosary blood tree blooding say holy mass dinari works of mercy works of the holy spirit acts of mercy to find you these things you cannot do them without the gift of the holy spirit nanielewa so for that reason i come here for me to confirm you also in your goodness to confirm in your goodness i want to say cwa thank you for being a cwa na kukazi naifanya na moyo nao kitolea kuhudumia mungu katika kanisa lake you are a member you are a member tuapigie makofi hata kusema cma thank you very much for the work you are doing to take on the fatherhood of God and to support the church to grow to us God himself thank you you cannot do that without the gift of the holy spirit you are a member to pigie makofi and you this is your week 
hii ni yenu mnapojitayarisha kwa tarehe 19 what that you are doing you you cannot do that you cannot come together to pray without fear without the gift of the holy spirit do it don't be afraid you have the holy spirit you are a man a member to be a makofi I want to talk also various groups, choirs groups, choir groups zingine nyingi zote pale tunakuja pamoja. The what the nights of St. John and again out. When you are doing the work of God, you cannot do it without the gift of the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, you will not be doing it. You be doing the opposite, killing the church. You are the main members. Tu apige makofi. Na hivi ya kwamba hawa watoto wanaopewa sakramenti ya kipaimara leo ni ya kwamba jifunze na wajiuke kutoka kwetu let us encourage them let us linga encourage them let us support them baba ambaye na mama ambao umeleta mtoto wako hapo kupewa sakramenti ya kipaimara sio majukumu ya askofu na wale vya ma, na, na mapadri wa dini ali peke yake hapana ni jukumu lako kuambia Mungu asante kwa hiyo mtoto yule ni bialia na akaweza kukubali kumpokea Roho Mtakatifu. Kuna wengi ambao hawajampokea Roho Mtakatifu. Saint Paul aliuliza watu, alienda, "Kweli nyinyi mlimpokea Roho Mtakatifu?" Akasema, "Haya, sisi hatujasikia kitu kama hicho." And this one here in today and he receive ndio apokeesha kwa niaba ya kanisa. Ndio apokeesha kwa niaba ya kanisa. Nitakuita jina lako kwa kila mmoja wangu. Napo kama una mshuma wako kama kama ataona ndakuita ndakuweka ndakupaka mafuta ya krisma tena ndakupaka atakwambia pokea mmoja wa paji la roho mtakatifu unasema amani iwe nawe it is you answering the request spontaneously nyinyi watoto wengi mlio mlio hapa saizi mlipopatizwa hamkuwezea kusema amina you were baptized in the faith of your father your mother Tunasema in the faith of our fathers Abraham wengine but now in confirmation you commit yourself one way or another before God but seriously do that sasa so it is a wonderful chance wazazi watoto hawa wanaporudi nyumbani mwakaribishe manyumbani kwenu mwapeleke roho mtakatifu katika familia zetu they are a gift to you not only the church but even to the families even to the families so uzuaje wa hiyo kaiburi they are full of spirit they are full of spirit they are full of spirit and they are full of goodness they are full of goodness if you are not full of spirit if you are empty if you have a heart empty heart hauna la kusema hauna lolote kwa sababu ya maofu yako you are so sad you are so lonely and you can dream very badly and you can do bad things you remember how the apostles were when they were locked themselves in the house they were they were lacking in the gift of the holy spirit they were lonely they were sad lakini walipokea roho mtakatifu walifanya nini walitoka wakaenda wakasema tutangaze wema wetu tutangaze we wema these children together with all of us today we want to say and to sing the song wimbo wa roho mtakatifu wimbo wa kikatoliki wimbo wa kikristo the beauty the goodness of being a christian the goodness of being a christian the goodness of being a christian and the joy of proclaiming the truth of christianity without fear without fear and that one is done again as i repeat here is done when kama watoto tunafundisha pia kuendelea kusoma rosari kwa sababu wanaposoma wanaposali hivyo ndivyo Mungu anavyoendelea kukaa na wao kukaa na wao anadumu ndani yake na wao ndani ya yake because they are talking to god always and when they are small like that they can still they are still have a very wonderful chance to talk to God the innocent prayers 
that will support you in the family, that will support our country, that will support our church, because God loves the prayers of the, the innocent. Yeah, they do this. And let them learn to do the works of mercy. And let them learn to support their church and be in their church. Do you love your church? Do you? Nani apendi kanisa laki? Nani anapenda? Fanya hivi. Sema haki. Sema napenda kanisa. Yeah, thank you. I'm very proud of you. Tunapigia makofi. So in this, as we finish, your theme is Father, may they be one. Sio umoja tu kama ule wa ndoa mke na mbe lakini ya kwamba tunafanya kitu kwa umoja tunafanya kila kitu kwa kwa umoja Kanisa la Mungu aliweza kuwa ni kanisa kama hatuna umoja kama hatuna utangamano hatumetengana aliweza kuwa kanisa nzimoja Na hiyo ndio sababu tunazingatia kutoka kwa familia faith in the church in the family faith in the Christian communities faith in the stations and faith in the dinari out of the parish Tuwe na umo, tuwe na umoja. Umoja huu tusaidia sisi kujenga roho zetu na kujenga mazingira yetu. Umoja huu tusaidia sisi kuweza kutambua paji saba ya roho mtakatifu. Paji saba ya roho mtakatifu. Which is all over in the world among the people. Lakini roho mtakatifu ye ndia likuja akachambua zote akaziweka pamoja and there is no nothing and nobody in the world hata kama ni serikali if the serikali wants to succeed in life it must follow the seven ways the seven ways they can be interpreted in a different way but for the same purpose but there are only seven there are only seven father is tangi hapa azema the gifts of the old spirit ni ngapi moja moja uh-uh. moja okay they can the, the gifts of the holy spirit are always seven they are always seven, seven. i love who the fruits of the holy spirit can be ten can be twelve because they are more so so sina ongezeka sinaona kama chungwa chungwa kusema kama ndio gift ya holy spirit na kisaa machungwa inakuwa ngapi Nakuwa ngapi? Nakuwa saba tu. It's so many. Kama embe, mwembe, ukisaa maembe unakuwa moja. Nakuwa nyingi. So look at it like that. The gifts are seven. The fruits are many. So the gifts are seven. Number one. Wisdom. Eh, yeah, wisdom. Nani anawambia wisdom? Who prayed for wisdom? Nani? Right. Good. To pick a makofi. Another gift. Number two. Knowledge. Knowledge. See you. Meskia CBC. Eh? Meskia yo. Yeah. CBC is one way of also in Kenya that we are searching to give and impart proper knowledge on the children. On the and the growing nation because a nation without knowledge is no nation it's dead it's dead and that knowledge should lead you to discovering god discovering what god it cannot just be knowledge in the vacuum you live your kill your knowledge in a kusaidia kumjua mungu kumpenda na kumtumikia another one is Eh? Aha, and another one 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 so murudia mkumika ni ngapi ni saa saba sasa nikisema nada na msiongeze kwa sababu ya just talking no i want you to talk conscious sasa sawa yeah they are only seven they are only seven 
seven. So I want to encourage you to learn those gifts. And as you learn, growing in wisdom and in stature, learn the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You will discover what you are learning in the school is already there. And what the church is doing is already there. When the church is creating schools for education, when the church is creating many facilities for education, for learning, it's just that. The implementing the gift of the, the Holy Spirit, so so. Yeah. When the church is established just as at peace, it's just that. Because you want peace in the world. See you? When the church is doing what else? It's feeding the poor in the slums. It's just that. The gift of the Holy Spirit. The gift of ma mercy. It's million. Yeah, not the gift, but the, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. The fruit of ma mercy. And you can count many of them. We want you to do that, young yeah, people in the future. As we wish you your success. Those who are going to do class 8. Is it class 8? Soon they are doing the exams, isn't it? Yeah. And the others are doing now. What do your form fours are doing? Yeah, I know also are preparing I'm, I'm behind the, the schedules. When you are doing, you want to wish you issue well because it's part and parcel of the teaching of the church. So as parents, if you don't take your children to school, you are doing your sinning. So do that. Try the best you can to give them those gifts that you have received freely and give them freely. And God will bless us and will bless us from generation to generation. Kutoa kizazi hata kizazi. Kwe basi, mwana wendelea kufanya hivyo, muombe pia kwa sala. Muombe sa? Sala. Sala isaidia pia wale ambao wanafanya kazi hiyo pia wengine wakitole kutoa huduma ya hayo mapaji. Wana huduma kutoa huduma ya hayo mapaji kwa namna ya kipeke ni mapadri. Ni nani? Ni mapadri. Take care of your priests. Take care of your Take care of your priests. They are one of them also part of the gifts of the Holy Spirit to summarize everything, to bring everything together on the Sabbath ya Roho Mtakatifu. Take care of them and they will take care of you. So, so Yeah, do that. Do you promise? Do you promise? Yes. Okay. And also, sisters are consecrated. Also, we uh, kufanya kazi ambayo ni kujitolea ili kwamba kulinda familia. Kulinda nini? Familia. Familia kwa Mungu anapenda familia. This the nuclear ya upendo wa Mungu ambaye alijifananisha mwenyewe nayo ni familia. Mimi na mke hii mimi so inene. Mungu God doesn't want the family and the keep thinking that God will never let go and I will tell you the truth. Hata shetani akija kwa jina namna gani God will never destroy what he loves. God will never destroy a family. God will never destroy a family. There will be battles here and there, but God will always win. Wale ambao wanania mbaya, wanataka kubomoa familia, lakini God will always win. He will never God cannot destroy himself. His own image and likeness he cannot. So we pray and confirm the families of God here before God. So so ya yeah. na tuli Yesu kusaidiana tunavyo safiri pamoja katika mwaka huu tunaoisherekea sinodi tusherekee wote pamo, pamoja pamoja familia mbalimbali na vikundi mbalimbali maparokia mbalimbali na yote tunayofanya kwa jina la mwana wetu Yesu Kristu yatuunganishe yatuungani yatuunganishe kwa hivyo la muhimu tena ni kwamba we <coughs> we together tukae pamoja na kusali pamo, pamoja Mungu akipenda tutaonana tena mwaka ujao. Si ni kweli? Ya na kama tutaonana tuweze pia kuwakumbuka wale ndugu zetu walio tutangulia mbele. Miaka hii mitatu iliyokwisha tulikuwa na eh, changamoto nyingi na changamoto moja wapo ilikuwa ni COVID-19. Wale Mungu aliowachukua wapumzike kwa amani. Pumzike kwa nini? Raya milenu wapu wape ye buwana? Wapumzike kwa amani. Kwa jina la baba, na la mwana, na roo mtakatifu. Kwa yubasi, 
wenyeji wetu ninaomba ni mmoja aje huku alafu tumuulize swali ambalo litaweza kusaidia wengine kupewa sakramenti ya kipa imara ole ole mmoja tu from you ambaye nitauliza swali la kuhusu wote mvulana hamna msichana if you don't come i'll wait until next time i'll come again sawa sawa akoda kutoka parokia gani atakuja nani atakuja uh, come come kuja come kuja tupigie makofi mvulana ah oh oh come come here yeah. yeah. So this is our classical children eh as and the topic of our coffee <laughs> Rafael na amani jina lako m mm, kuja huko kuja salama huko eh kuja salama huko Rafael kwa basi hawa swali la kwanza hapa nipita because if you get confirmation the first step is to be courageous to be courageous so that they have come to me here to answer questions they are very courageous so my peter to pigie makofi sasa kwa sababu tunasherekea kipaimara na mengine yote mwaka wa family yani hawa tu pamoja na dini na mapadri wao ndio watapika picha sawa sawa na mama mnata utakuuliza utauliza kitu utaki na wewe hata ukipenda kuuliza ah basi mtawachia kama wamestahili tuwaachia hapo sio ama nani mwingine anataka kuja? Na basi hao tunawakilisha, hawajui wanakisha. Okay, asante. Naitwa nani? Eh? Oh, Shalim. Shalim. So, asante. Okay, asante. Shalim. Tuambie jina la din wa makadara Imani Imani ile yako wapi? Ako wapi? Ni wewe. What is the meaning of Emmanuel? Oh basi umepata tumpigie makofi. So call your friend to come and to just be a step issue. Peter. Lilian. Lilian kuja. Ah. Lilian. Ulisa swali. What is that? Then there is a bit of the spirit. Ulisa attitude
it's a call 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 another one. Call a boy to come. Call a boy, one of the boys to come, yeah. Eh? Yeah? As Prudence to show us how how they baptize, how the priest baptizes people. Uh, prudence. How does a priest baptize? How does a priest baptize children and people? By anointing the oil. Okay, show 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 one of the Who knows? Who knows? Ah, who knows? Come forward. Fully understand here. Thank you. Come. I know I'm going to go here. Just show us how the priests are not baptized. How does the priest baptize? Take a photo, eh? And you go also to bring your priest. We take a photo, and you too, all of you, go and pick your priest and get get photos. Well, my priest, I'm going to come. I'm going to come and take your picture now to the end, and then move to the next stage. Very fast. Come here.
Sí. Uh, tu se mame. Tu na hoji kuhusu imani yenu. Mwana mkatoa shetani ya mambo yake yote na hila zake zote. Na zadiki kwa mungu baba mwenyezi muumba mingu na dunia. Na zadiki kwa yesu kristu mwana wa peke mwana wetu. Alia zaliwa na bikira maria kateso wa kafa. Agaziki kwa agafuwe katika wafu amekaa kuume kwa baba. Na zadiki kwa roho mtakatifu bwana mleta uzima. Mtakaye pewa leo kwa namna ya pekee kwa maji kwa njia ya sakramenti ya kipaimara kama walivyopewa mitume wake wakati wa Pentecoste. Nasadiki. kwa kanisa katoliki ushirika watakatifu maendeleo ya dhambi uvuko wa wafu na uzima wa milele. Na basi wanaopewa kipaimara rudieni nyuma yangu. Hii ndiyo imani yetu. sema sauti ya juu Hii ndiyo imani yetu Hii ndiyo imani ya kanisa Hii ndiyo imani ya kanisa ambayo tunaona fahari kuiungama katika bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Na wote pamoja tuseme amin. Amin. ndugu zangu tumuombe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi kwa wema wake awatie Roho Mtakatifu na hao wache ule waliozaliwa katika uzima mpya wa milele kwa ubatiso naye Roho Mtakatifu ataimarisha kwa mapaji yake maridhawa kwa mpako wake atawafanya wafana naye bwana wetu Yesu Kristu mwanawe e Mungu mwenyezi baba wa bwana wetu Yesu Kristu ndiwe uliyowazaa upya hawa watoto watumishi wako kwa maji na Roho Mtakatifu ukaokoa katika dhambi basi e bwana watie roho wako mfariji wape roho wa hekima na ekili roho wa shauri na nguvu roho wa elimu na ibada wajaze roho wa uchaji wako na tunaomba haya kwa njia ya Kristu bwana wetu
Na basi ndugu zangu tumuombe kwenye kevu Mungu Baba Mwenyezi 
sala hii iwe yetu sote jumla kama vile imani matumaini na mapendo huwa pamoja yote na hayo hutoka kwa roho wake mtakatifu mtakatifu wakataka na hao mitume na wadamizi wao wawape waamini huyo roho usikilize kwaema sala yetu utijalie kile ulichotenda wakati injili inaanza kuhubiriwa kienee sasa pia mioni mwa waamini tunaomba hayo kwa jia ya Kristo bwana wetu na wabariki Mungu baba mwenyezi aliyewafanya watoto wake ninyi mliozaliwa upya kwa maji na roho mtakatifu awalinde na awalinde mustahili pendo lake la, la kibaba amin amin wabariki mwanawa pekee aliyeahidi kroho wa ukweli atadumu kat, kukaa katika kanisa na awaimarishe kwa nguvu zake katika kuiungama imani ya kweli Amen. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Na Roho Mtakatifu aliyewasha moto wa mapendo ndani ya mioyo ya wafuasi wake nanyi mkiwa mmekusanywa katika umoja awaongoze bila dhambi kwenye furaha ya ufalme wake. Amen. na basi kwa ibada hii ya kipaimara tunaikamilisha awabariki Mungu mwenyezi baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu
cha sadaka uh, kwaya mtupatie nyimbo zinazofaa na wale ambao wameandaliwa kufanya hiyo kazi basi ni wakati huo wa sadaka
Mungu mwenyezi E bwana wapokee kwa wema au watumishi wako pamoja na, ma, na wanao pekee manao pekee nao waliotiwa alama ya msalaba wake wa mpako wa roho mtakatifu wakiwa wanajitoa kwako daima pamoja na mwanao anaishi na kutawala daima na milele Amen. Bwana awe nanyi Inueni mioyo. Natumshukuru Bwana Mungu wetu. Kweli ni vema na haki tendo la kufaa na la kuleta wekovu. Tumshukuru wewe daima na popote e Bwana, Baba ulia mtakatifu, Mungu mwenyezi wa milele kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu. Yeye alipa juu ya bingu zote akaketi kuume kwako akatimiza ahadi ya kupokea roho mtakatifu anayetufanya wanao kwa sababu hiyo sasa na hata milele sisi pamoja na majeshi yote ya malaika tunaimba na tukimbia kwa uchaji tukisema sauti moja bila mwisho na kweli mtakatifu na kila kiumbe kilichoumba nawe kinakusifu kwa haki maana kwa njia mwanao bana wetu Yesu Kristu na kwa uwezo tendaji wa roho mtakatifu unavitia uzima vitu vyote na kuvitakatifuza wala huwachi kwa kusanya watu kwako ili toka mawi ya jeto macho yake tabiu safi itolewe kwa jina lako basi e bwana tunakusii kwa nyenyekevu vipaji hivi ambavyo tumekutolea ili vitakaze upende kuvitakatifuza kwa roho wako huyo huyo ili viwe kwetu mwili na damu ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristu aliyetuamuru tuadhimishe mafumbo haya maana yeye mwenyewe usiku ule alipotolewa alitoa mkate akakushukuru aliubariki akaumega akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Tuaeni mle nyote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu Vivi vya baada ya kula kitoa kikombe na kushukuru Alikibariki akawapo wafuasi wake akisema Twaeni mnywe nyote hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya agano jipya la milele itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maendeleo ya dhambi fanye ni hivi kwa kunikumbuka mimi
Fumbo la imani Kwa hiyo e bwana tunapoadhimisha ukumbusho wa matezo ya mwanao yaletaye wokovu pamoja na ufufuko wake wa ajabu na kupaa kwake mbinguni na tunapotazamia ujio wake wa pili tulokutolea pia shukrani sadaka hii iliyo hai na takatifu tunakuomba uyaangalie matoleo ya kanisa lako na kwa kumtambua yeye aliye kafara ambaye ulitaka kutulizwa kwa sadaka ya kifo chake utujalie sisi tunaotiwa nguvu kwa mwili na damu ya mwanao na kujazwa na roho wake mtakatifu tupate kuwa mwili mmoja roho moja katika Kristo Yeye afanye sisi kwa wako sadaka tulifu endele ili tuweze kupata urithi kwa maombi ya wachungaji wako kwanza kabisa pamoja na mimi na mimi ya mimi mama Mungu mtakatifu Yosefu mume wake huyo bikira na mtume wako wenye heri na shahidi wako watukufu na wakati wote ambao tunategemea kupata daima msaada wa maombi yao na kuomba ndio bwana huyu aliyekafara kwa upande wetu wetu alete amani na wokovu duniani kote upende kuimarisha katika imani na matendo kanisa lako linalo safiri hapa duniani pamoja na mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco na askofu wetu Philip pamoja na askofu wote wa kero wote na watu wote wanaofanya kwa tarehe pia ya Bwana kwa kutumishi wako ambao ukisha kuwaza pia kwa ubatizo umependa kuimarisha kwa kazi na roho mtakatifu kwa rehema yako uinde neema yako ndani yao Usikilize kwa wema sana za jamaa hii uliyoisha hapa mbele yako e baba uliye mtakatifu kwa huruma yako wakusanye kwako wanao wote waliotawanyika popote duniani uwapokee kwa wema katika ufalme wako na ndugu zetu marehemu na wote waliowaga dunia wakiwa wamekupendeza nasi tunatumaini kufika katika ufalme huo ili pamoja tushibishwe milele kwa ukufu wako kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu ambaye kwa njia yake unaojalia ulimwengu mema yote Kwa njia yake pamoja naye na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima na utukufu wote daima na milele
hakukuliti agizo la mwokozi wetu tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunabudhubutu kusema baba yetu liye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako ufike utakao ufanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupeleo mkato wetu wa kila siku tusamee makosa yetu kama tunavyowasamea na sisi walio tukosea kuzitia katika kishawishi lakini tuwapenda Eh Bwana tunakuomba utuwapoe katika maovu yote utujalie kwema amani maisha yetu mwetu kuzudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako tuwapolewe daima na dhambi wala tusifadhaishi na jambo lolote tunapotazamia tumaini lenye heri na ujio wa mwokozi wetu wa Yesu Kristo Eh Bwana Yesu Kristo uliwaambia mitume wako Amani na wachieni amani yangu na wapa. Uzame dhambi zetu ili watu imani ya kanisa lako upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalimu mapenzi yako unaishi na kutawala milele na milele. Amen. Amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi. Mpeane amani. tazama mwana kondoa Mungu tazama yeye aondoaye dhambi za ulimwengu eli yao wote waliyalikwa kwenye karamu yake hii takatifu e mwana na mwili wa Kristo nilinde nipate uzima wa milele
basi baada ya kupokea Kristu katika Ekaristi takatifu tutachukua muda mfupi kidogo tutafakari huyo Yesu ambaye tumempokea na upendo wake mwingi juu yetu hasa kwa sakramenti hiyo ambayo imeweza kuadhimishwa tuwe na kimya kidogo halafu ndio tuwe na sala baada ya kumu.
Tuombe E bwana umewajaza waamini wako na mapaji ya Roho Mtakatifu na uliwamalisha chakula na kucha chakula cha mwana wa pekee wajalie hawa waliofundishwa walio katika utimilivu wa sheria waadhimishe uhuru wa kufanywa wana wa Mungu mbele ya ulimwengu siku zote. Kwa kuwezeshe wezeshe kuenea kueneza wema wako na utukufu wako upate kuwajalia wengi kumchukua na kufuata. Tunaomba haya kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu. Amina. ya muda kulingana na ratiba tumeenda vyema kabisa na kwa hiyo tutakuwa tu na mazungumzo mafupi mafupi kutoka kwa watu wachache na bila kupoteza wakati nitamuita uh, uh, Father Emmanuel ili aweze kuja na kuendelea na ratiba mahali tumeweza kufikia karibu baba kila wakati tuelekea kilele cha sherehe zetu na kama kawaida kama dekania kila mwaka sisi huwa na tendo la huruma ndio maana bila kupoteza muda nitamwalika yule ambaye ametoka all the way from Rwanda au Tukana Tukana we see our the sign of mass or lot of mass i hope he is blessed you are not the one Naomba mweka hazina na viongozi executive wa dekania wajongee hapa mbele tuweze kupeana kile ambacho kawaida tunatoa kwa ajili ya Atomas. The executive Tulikuwa tumesema lazima awe na yeye ya kwamba amepata cheo ameenda kukabiliwa kwa tukia na ndio maana anatakuwa nasi baba masomo na kuomba ndio hapa tukabidhi eh na hawa kwa hii ambao tunawakilisha kile huyu ambaye ni mwakilishi wake atasema hao ambao tunawapa kile tunatoa ni ya kina nani na ni kwa nini waleka basi kwa niaba ya Father Manchala ambaye alikuwa paroko wa Mulbul basi kwa sababu ambao tutakaopata ni kwa ajili ya kusaidia watoto ambao wanateseka wanachakula katika kaunti ya Nolo nashukuru sana na Mungu awabariki Mungu kwa kuchukua siku ambayo tumeshaelekea na tumepata 
kufika pale kanya na kadhara asanti sana kwa kufika na kujipatia sakramenti ya kipaibara pili na shukuru the previous candidates wa kipaibara au watoto wetu kwa masomo ile wamesoma walimu ambao wamewatayarisha wote kwa jumla parokia zote nane tunawashukuru sana na Mungu azidi kutubariki
Jericho boys, Jericho, 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 Jericho,
wale ambao wako na uniform kama hauna uniform usije na kwa pale hawa wawili na kwa hapo wakati sasa wale wako na uniform simama hapa
you can extend your hands to the people of God and for blessings you may let me do it alone Bwana awe nanyi Bwana wabariki na kuwalinda Awangazie nuru za uso wake na kwa fadhili Amen Au ile uso wake na kwa pamani yake Amen Na baraka yake Mungu mwenyezi ya baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu iwashukie na kukaa nanyi daima Amen 